G'day guys and welcome to this week's episode. This week we hit the boat again. We don't hit the boat. G'day guys and welcome to this week's episode. In this episode we get the boat out again and head fishing. We head fishing. G'day guys and welcome to this week's episode. In this week, in this week, ah. G'day guys and welcome to this week's episode. On this week's episode we get the boat out in the water and catch some King George whiting. We go to one of the most popular spots down south, but find our own secluded beach that we get all to ourselves. The water is crystal clear. It is absolutely amazing to see. We hit up the Cape Naturalist Natural Park and we get some birthday shopping done for Jade. So let's get this show on the road. Let's hit the water. Good morning. Um, no. No. Ah. Good morning! <laughs> Good morning! Here we are in the caravan. Jade's getting ready for the day. Kids, what are you up to? Boring schoolwork! Don't be like that. You love your schoolwork. She's Alright, right, so the kids are getting uh, their schoolwork finished. Lani's been outside playing and we have the boat ready to go back out again. So we're going to go back out and try and catch some squid. Try and catch some whiting. I'd love a feed of whiting. Yeah. Change of plans. So we were heading out to the boat ramp near Grace Whoa. Camp, where we were camped out. But I wanted to go check out Castle Rock and all around the Dunsborough region. So we're going to launch the boat in Dunsborough and go for a swim out there and do some squidding and whiting out there. And little secret, that's where Derek proposed to me. Hey, babe. Yep. We're just launching the boat down in Dunsborough. And I'm going to get in and I'm going to park the car in the trailer. Everyone's got their life jackets on. Derek's just setting up the sounder. The idling. And we're waiting for takeoff. glass off. What a day. It is beautiful. Clarity is amazing. Honestly, this place is beautiful. So yesterday we were using these medium to small size um, squid jigs. Uh, what are they? They're like two and a half gram this one. The weight's two and a half gram. And the little squid that you catch down south here seem to be loving them. Uh, we tried white ones, they didn't work, but the bright colors with pinks and oranges and stuff like that, they were working a treat. So a little bit of a tip there for you. But today we're gonna try and catch some whiting, either King George or just your plain sand whiting. And this is your general whiting hook, so it's similar to a paternostic rig. 
Um, you got your swivel up the top, you got a couple of whiting hooks, and then you've got your sinker down the bottom. So we're gonna give that a run. The sinker might not be big enough here because we're in 13 meters of water, but we'll give it a go. Kmart special, five bucks. King George whiting, baby. Woohoo! Will that be size? Mummy just caught a King George whiting. Woohoo! Off the Kmart rod. That was a yeah, good fighting fish. Looks very hungry. Squid's trying to go for the kids' wrasse. Not wrasse. You got a squidgy. Good job, Daddy. Good, it's good thing I spotted him. Where's the net? Where is the net? Oh. We caught, we all caught something, guys. He's a big squid. It looked quite big. That was. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's a massive squid. Oh. He's just inked again. He's inking. Hang on, let me get rid of this. He's still inking. He's still inking. No, Hang on, keep it, keep it down though. Oh, yeah. Well, that was the easiest squid we caught, eh? <laughs> <laughs> totally. That was good spotting, Peyton. He was like right next to my thing. He was trying to eat my fish. Let's have a look, babe. I Show thought me. it was another fish. So Ooh. what you do is you grab the squid there. They can't ink. No matter what they do, they can't ink. So you're sort of strangling them. And then we'll put him out of his misery, but we won't show you that. Come on. On? Yep. What do we got? the GoPro but that's another King George for Kobe good job buddy I think he might be bigger than mine yes. show us how big he is oh. he's doing a puma that was gonna be your fish honey it was well, I saw it off him okay so the size limit for these is 28 centimeters and he is 41 centimetres. Mine was 47, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Oh. Derek's on. Ow! He's got a lot of head shakes. Oh, geez, what is that? Rash. Is that a baby shark? No. Baby shark. King George. Oh, it just let go. Oh, it was a King George. It was a big one. It wasn't a King George. What was no. it? It looked like a... Um... The bottom of the shark thing. How's this? Pulled up on a little lonely beach that we've got. No one else here. Gonna have a swim, refresh, then get back out there and catch some more KGs. Have a go.
camper is going a little bit flat. We're down to 35%. So we're going to do our best to capture everything that we can today. I uh, didn't bring any batteries out, but um, yeah, we're, we're going back out fishing and hopefully we can get some more King George whiting no. and a couple more squid or something like that. Even a bloody nice no. WA Jewfish would be good. Boys are both on. First double drop. Hooker. What is it, Dad? Double hookup. Sit back, babe, sit back. God, Cove, yours is giving up a good fight. Oh, babe. Oh, got off again. Oh my another one of those fish. God. Cobes, Cobes, Cobes. Jesus, he's gone for a run. Here, Stand babe, up, do you mate. want the net? Peyton, can you hold the GoPro? Oh, bud, let him run. What is it? Go, son. Oh, the bloody Norway's blowfish. <laughs> That's what, that's what you had before. Yeah, yeah. Exactly what you had before. Thank you. Okay, that was a good fight. Alright, just want you to have a look at this. So me and Kobe just had a double hook up and we caught two Norwest blowies and you know what blowies are like. But they're called um, Whoa, bolt cutters. On, on. Have a look. Whoa. He's cut my hook straight in half. That's what they're renowned for. Let's go see what mum's got. It looks like KG. Oh, it's a rat. Good. That's it for the Norway's blowy. It's a rat. Hey! Go, buddy, go. Oh, everyone's tangled. Oh, oh he's, he's going, going for a run. That's it, buddy. Don't, well, don't whine. He was fighting before. Yeah, lift and whine. Lift and whine. That's it. Oh, I caught you, Daddy. Yeah. Okay. All right, another Norwest blowy. Oh, of course it that's is. That's it. Right. We got to get off the spot. Yeah. This is a big one. Yeah, it's a huge one, mate. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -oh. Don't let him get tangled up. In oh the water. no, oh, he's, he's tangled. tangled. Well, that's the day done, guys. We've uh, we've caught two King George, a skippy, a herring, a squid. That's enough for us for dinner. We're heading home on this glorious glass out day. Phew. Well, this is our platter tonight. We have herring, we have squid, we have skippy, and we have King George whiting. That's dinner. So hang on. What's going on here? He's a boy. He don't eat fish. <laughs> Unbelievable. Good day out today, love, or what? I'm a little bit sun kissed. But? How good is it having a boat this time? Couldn't do it without it. Yeah. Honestly, 18 months without a boat. I am so glad we've got our boat. Well, that'd be brilliant, it's a game isn't changer. It? So happy. Well, we're going to get stuck into dinner and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning for another adventure. Good morning. Well, today is the day before someone's birthday and I was a little bit unorganized and haven't got any um, presents for her. So we're here in Dunsborough and where are we headed, love? To the market. Jade loves going to these little markets. I love getting all the little knick-knacky stuff and I get so excited. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to walk through the markets and uh, try and find a um, bit of a present for Jade and see what happens with the rest of the day. Jade's found her new surfboard. 
<laughs> Lani? Is she going to learn to swim first, love? I think she can start with her foamy as well. First time my kids have been angels all week. Especially this one. Are you an angel? <laughs> what flavour are you getting? What about you? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream, ice cream. No pressure. Mm -hmm. But you're on video now. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you well, that was a very interesting morning slash mid, mid afternoon. Um, yeah, marketplace was good. Jade got a whole bunch of stuff. So she's happy, you happy? And uh, now we're just deciding on what we want to do. And being the weekend and Duns was quite busy, we didn't really want to go to too many touristy spots. So we're just going to go for a drive and check out all around Dunsborough and uh, the Cape Naturalist and stuff like that. And yeah, we'll bring you along. that when it let a drive past. Olives. So there's Anywhere a... there's olives, us three need to stop. <laughs> we love olives. And this one was the Eagle Bay olives. Yeah, we Dad. didn't even know it was here. We just drove Daddy. past and we seen it and I was like, olives, stop! Daddy. Beautiful. So, Daddy. got myself a couple of, that the, couple of jars of olives. And now we'll be set. Beautiful. Bessie the bull. track so we thought we'd turn down it and check it out and see where it takes us. We're in the windmill car park it's called in the Cape Naturalist National Park area. There's a lookout out here and there's some toilets. Um, there's a sign there that says there's abalone so I'm guessing there's a bit of abalone down there but I think I'm abalone out after our last little adventure with abalone. So I don't need Derek to go get me any more abalone. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Just thought we'd come down to Bunker Bay and check it out. Uh, it's a beautiful little bay. Many, many years ago, before kids, me and Jade come out for a swim around here. And one of the biggest Wobbegon sharks that I've ever seen was just sitting on the bottom of the water. It was pretty cool to see, but the snorkeling around this bay is just astro astronomical. So good. I didn't bring the drone because I thought we we're just going shopping, and then we've ended up at this beautiful place, Bunker Bay. But to get the drone up here would have just been spectacular. The water is so clear, it looks so good. I'd love to get in there for a swim as well, but I forgot the other GoPro that I can take in the water. So. We got nothing, might come back here. The sand is uh, a little bit different here, it's all rocks. So instead of sand, it's all like rocks and shells and stuff like that. Well, that was a day exploring Cape Naturalist. Now we're heading back to the caravan to prep up, ready for Jade's birthday tomorrow. Well, it's cake time so it's jade's birthday tomorrow and me and the two girls are making her a bit of a surprise cake so we've already had a disastrous start someone spilt the packaging everywhere someone read the instructions wrong and put in too much milk but i'm not going to name any names <laughs> so Here's to a surprise birthday cake. It might be a little bit different, but it's still a cake that we can blow some candles out with. All right, so in this caravan, we opted for no oven. Um, we've just got a griller and the cooktop no. on top. 
No more. So what we're doing is cooking it in the microwave. So it's got the microwave um, packaging. Where's wherever the packaging is. So that's what it is, the greens. And uh, it's got microwave instructions. So we've just stuck it in there for five minutes. And that's how she looks. It's turned out all right. Good job, you might have invented a new way of making a cake. Put too much milk in. It was supposed to be a banana cake and you put too much milk in, so what did you add in? The chocolate mix in. So it started off on a banana cake and then because we added too much milk, we then added in the chocolate milk, uh, the chocolate mix to make it a chocolate no, banana no. cake and now we're going to have two one there and one there the if, if we get any back from the kids licking the bowl at least it's made with love it is yes. it I'm is not made licking with love it. all right one cake it's not the prettiest i know but the icing will cover it up mm. one cake down Mom. other cake in the microwave <laughs> all right that's cake number two just uh fresh out of the microwave so we've got one here and got the second one here we're about to flip it out and put it on the rack gonna do that is this gonna end up on the floor <laughs> Whee, round of applause what does it look like what does it look like? Perfection. What do you reckon? Now we get to lick it. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you thinking with the decorations? So I'm going to put chocolate icing in the middle. Yep. And then I'm going to put this one on top. And then I'm going to put the white icing the on, banana mix yeah on the top of this one yeah and i'm gonna spell happy birthday with maybe like a end of a spoon or a fork in the icing beautiful sounds like a plan stan yep righty guys we're gonna leave this episode here wrap it up right now it's jade's birthday tomorrow so we're just gonna relax enjoy the day spoil her but we'll see you guys next week somewhere down here in the southwest of WA. Eww.